hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to add realistic textures to roblox studio but before the video starts i just want to say if you found this video helpful then consider leaving a like and if you enjoy the content that i make then feel free to subscribe so without further ado sit back relax and let's get started So here we are in Roblox Studio, but before we get started on anything, just make sure that you have the latest version of Roblox Studio installed because there is a beta feature that we do need to enable so we can add um, realistic textures. So to enable that beta feature, you need to go up here where it says file, go down to beta features and scroll down until you find something called material service enable that hit save and you're going to need to restart studio so do that first and then come back and watch the rest of this video all right so once you're done restarting studio over in the explore tab you're going to see something called material service this is the beta feature that we added and we'll get to that in a little bit but first you need to choose the material you would like to add to roblox so to do that, I recommend going to ambientcg.com. Um, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I just think that this is, I personally think that this is a amazing site to get free materials for pretty much any, anything. So to get the material you would like, go up to where it says materials. And as you can see, we have all kinds of free to use materials that you can just easily download without any problems. And there's a lot more than this, trust me. But the material I'm going to be using is this one right here. This is a sandy material. Um, and this is going to be re replacing the Roblox default sand material like this one here. So to get this material, what you want to do is find the material that you would like to use. Go over and download the 2K PNG, PNG version right over here. And once you have done downloading that, you're going to want to find where you have downloaded it. As you can see, I have it on my desktop. You want to right click it and click extract to. And there, there's the name of the folder. Extract it. And here it is right here. Now what you can do is delete this top one because we don't need that. And open up this. And as you can see, we have all of the material stuff that we need. We really only need the color the normal GL and the roughness. I'm not sure about any of these, but I just know that we need these main ones right here. So let's go back into Roblox Studio and let's get to the material service. So what you wanna do is hit the plus icon and add in a material variant. If you don't see it here, then just type it in, material variant, click it, and you can rename this to whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna rename it to sand because that's the material that we're gonna be replacing. So go inside of the material service properties, go down until you find plastic or any other material that you're gonna be replacing. I'm gonna do plastic because I have a part here that has the plastic material. So I'm gonna go find plastic and change it to the material variants that we have up here, which is sand for me. There we go. Now I'm gonna go over to the material variant. I'm gonna go where it says base material. Change this to plastic because that's the material I'm gonna be re replacing. And now what you wanna do is go to the color map, click on it, click on add image, choose file, desktop, and that's where our material has been saved. And what you wanna do is find the color one. As you can see, it says color. Click that one, open, name it to what you want. I'm just gonna name it to sand color. Hit create, might take a few seconds for it to create it, just because this is a more advanced material than Roblox's default ones. So once it has done that, it should come up on the part that you have here. And as you can see, it came up on the base plate because the base plate has plastic. I'm just gonna change that to the smooth plastic just so it doesn't look too weird. So as you can see, we already have our sand material, but it's not looking as real as you think. So go back to the material variant, go in the properties, 
go to the normal map, scroll down, hit add image, choose file, and you're going to add in the normal GL. Look at that. Open up and we name it to whatever we want. I'm going to call it to sand normal. Hit create. Might take a few seconds to a minute for it to load itself in. So once it is loaded in, it's now going to look like this. And as you can already tell, this is looking absolutely amazing. But we're not done yet because we need to still add the roughness map. So click that and I can't seem to add an image. There we go. Add image, choose file, and we're going to do the roughness. Open up and I'm going to name this to sand roughness. And hit create. Um, again, going to take a few minutes, maybe a few seconds. And there we go. There is our sand material. And as you can already tell, this is looking a lot better than this one over here. You can change the brightness by just moving this up and down. I'm going to change it to the fullest. And there we go. As you can see, there is a huge difference. And when we hit play, it will look even better. And as you can see, if you have your graphic settings on full, here is the default Roblox texture. And here is the one that we added. And as you can see, there is a big, big difference. Obviously, this one looks a lot better. That's just because we're all used to the default Roblox sand texture. And you can do this with any texture. It doesn't have to be sand. It could be rock. It could be grass. It could be glass. It could be metal. Um, so yeah, that's how you make realistic Roblox textures and Roblox Studio. Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, if you did, uh, feel free to leave a like. And if you enjoy my overall content, then consider subscribing. And I'll see you all in the next video.